Could you run us through where he was at? Yeah, well, Matt, unfortunately, he hit that, he hit that uh, hip in the game um, last week and it came off just after half time. And we thought it was going to settle down and one of those traditional sort of hip pointers, but it turned out that as we investigate further, there's a little bit of jamming up in there with a little bit of muscle damage. Just So it's right on the edge of the hip as it leads into your abdominal area there. So it never really got going this morning. So, uh, yeah, he misses out. Would you be hopeful he'll be back? Yeah, we would be. We would be. So, you know, but it's one of those things we are now let it settle down and then uh, and treat it accordingly. And, but, you know, hopefully next week he'll, he'll come back into the mix. That's a reasonable cover coming back in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, and we've got Bryce there who, you know, misses out, but he comes now, comes in to play that sort of midfield role for us, which is a good opportunity for him. Is it? Um, what was it about Bryce that didn't have him selected in the first place? Oh, well, to be honest, the team's been playing really well. You know, and Bryce was in the team a couple of weeks ago, missed last week, obviously, with the back. Um, and it was sort of, we looked at it from a match committee viewpoint, hard to make too many changes given the, the way the side's performing and, and the roles which we see Bryce playing. We had other guys ahead of him. Yeah, so he was rolling around that uh, half-back flank before he went yep. out. You've obviously lost the midfielder. Do we expect to see him more at the goal face? Oh, I think he'll play more as a mid, yeah. Do you think he'll be more comfortable there? Well, I played a lot of footy both as a mid and down back. Um, again, he played reasonably well for us down back a couple of weeks ago. So, um, but he's played a lot of footy as a mid. So, yeah, I expect he'll he's ready to go. I'm looking forward to, uh, as I say, the opportunity. Is um, Brody Smith right to go? He said yep. his job last bit of a calf. Yeah, he had a little bit of a calf, but he trained fully this morning. And yeah, we, we at this stage he's he's expected to play. There's no no real issue with him. And you're traveling to emergency, David Kennedy's. Yep. So Ned will come up with us, um, and he'll just be there on standby in case something happens from here on in. Which fingers crossed it doesn't. How close is Ned? It's been some really good. Sample, yeah, he's played some really good footy. And, you know, his last couple of games in Sanford, he's had a bit of a look inside. He's played a bit of time on the wing. So he's really developing, which is great. Um, and as you can see, he's now in our, our 26. So he's, he's getting close to getting a game. The Chase Jones, Riley Knight sort of selection there. Yep. Chance to get Chase back in after he also started off the season well on the AFL side. Had yeah. Injury and Chase was in yeah, he played really well in the Sanford game, the last game they had against Norwood. So, um, and we saw him early in the season, and he obviously had that concussion and was in and out a little bit. So, um, and Nida probably just his, his form's just dropped away a little bit, um, and gives him an opportunity to go back and, and work on that at Sanford level. But you know, Chase is a is a good replacement. Dr. Stone, just back on Bryce. So, a few weeks ago, he's in the side, and now he's not. Uh, I know you guys have been with him, but in terms of his form and what he's what he's enjoying, what he's like. Well, he was in the side two weeks ago as a as a half back, and obviously Luke Brown came in last week um, when. Bryce was, was unavailable. So, as I said, it's difficult when you. We'd like to fit everyone in, and we're going to have more challenges coming up because you know Richie Douglas and Paul Seisman will play Sample this week. Uh, Wayne Miller is due to be back next week. So it's a great problem to have, but it's it's more making sure that we're rewarding the guys that are in good form and playing good footy, um, and making sure we can create opportunities for other guys coming back in. But uh, you know, some guys have played really strongly over the last month for us, and you know the match committee was reluctant to make too many changes based on what's been a, a good a good side that's winning games. What do you need to see from Jenkins this week? Oh, it's an opportunity for Josh to play. I mean, last week, unfortunately, the ankle thing, we need to get that to settle down. So he wasn't he wasn't really even available last week. So it's the same as we've been talking about before. You know, he goes and plays that keep forward sort of ruck role. And, um, and Josh is a really important part of our team. And, you know, we're looking forward to him getting back in good form. And again, putting pressure on for spots, as, as well as Elliot's played when he's come in. You know, in an ideal world, we've got multiple options that we can we can select from. So uh, looking forward to what, what Josh can produce on the week. Watson Neal is having a phenomenal season. Yep. What's the plan for him? to stop him you know, doing what he's been doing. So, no, look, he's been a, he's been a great you know, acquisition for them. Um, but between him and Dane Zorka, they've got a couple of really dynamic mids as well as some younger guys that they're putting through there. So you know, we're really respectful of their midfield. And clearly Brisbane um, has had an outstanding season. They're sitting at five and three, the same as us. And they played some great footy up at Brisbane. So we, we know the challenge that's facing us. And um, again, we've come in with some good form. We've sort of got a real clear picture of what's helped us create that form. Um, and we get another opportunity on, on Saturday to, to go out and execute against a, a, a good quality side. Given this one player in particular accountable for him? Uh, we'll have a few options, you know, there. I mean, we sort of, ha we haven't generally gone down the path of hard run widths, but I'm saying we won't do that. But, you know, we think our midfield bat's reasonably deep and we've got some options in there who uh, can keep an eye on him as well as generate some ball. Given there's five teams sitting on five and three, yep. how much pressure does that put on, I guess, every week and this week? Oh, well, I think it's been said all year. The comp's so even um, and we find ourselves where we are now, whereas four weeks ago we're in a different spot. So. Uh, there's no there's no easy games uh, and we understand we've got to keep winning games to maintain a spot on the ladder um, and the reality for us is the only thing we can deal with this week is going to be Brisbane in Brisbane so uh, we'll focus on that and wherever we win or lose it'll put us where we are on the ladder so that's that's really what we control and that's all we'll look after. They've got great speed for Brisbane, how do you deal with that? Yeah. 
measure for towards that? Well, I mean, we, we, I got this question last week ahead of the showdown around what it looked like, and, and we've got a blend, a balance of guys. We think we've got real serious running power as well as speed. We've also got some guys inside, you know, who can who can hunt the ball and are big bodies around the contest, whether it be Cam Ellis Yeoman, Hugh Greenwood, you've got Brad Crouch back who gives us a bit of both. So, you know, it's always about your blend and balance and yep. what it looks like, and we're comfortable with the blend and mix we've got at the moment in terms of our running power on the outside, but also our, our ball winning on the inside. Guys, so it's back on Josh. Keeping how important he is to the team, and he obviously is. Yep. Five games now in a row now. Yep. Does that suggest maybe he's less important than he was a year or two ago? I think that's just a reflection on, say, his form and then a bit of injury as well. So, yeah, you know, and there's also been buys in amongst the sample. So, yep. Is there a world where uh, you can have a, a Ruckman, JJ, and Elliot playing the same team? Uh, there's prob there probably is a world, but you know it's probably one which we'd, we're probably not going to explore. I think I think with a rally for us as we see with our ruck and then obviously a key forward doing that ruck role, just we've got a, the challenge of blend and mix of our forward to make sure that we don't have make it too top heavy. And we've gone down that path a couple of times, not necessarily by playing two genuine tools like Elliot and Josh, but you know it's always a blend and balance about how you can maintain that pressure in your front half as well as keep your aerial stuff up as well. So um, I'm not saying never, but it's it's probably not the area we're, we're looking at focusing on. How are you enjoying your time on the boundary line? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's been very different. You know, I, I must admit I was uncertain f to start with going down there, um, just purely whether I'd be able to see the game. Obviously, when you're in an elevated view, you've got the opportunity to sit up top. You've got replays. You've got behind the goal vision. You can check on things. So, um, but I've enjoyed it. It's actually been. An op I've, I've sort of been able to see more than I thought I was going to be able to see. And certainly, your engagement level with your players is far greater versus uh, when you're on the phone necessarily. You know, it's like you're sort of on the phone talking to someone, but they're half watching the game. Whereas when you've got them face to face, it's a lot easier to get the message across, feel what they're feeling and get a feel for what they're seeing in the game. Um, so I'll continue to continue to explore that, yeah. Especially given the, um, the lack of scoring early in games, is yep. it easier to actually talk to players? Well, two, to two weeks ago against Fremantle, we kicked there was three goals in the first half. So our runner, he didn't get paid that night because he didn't go anywhere. So it does allow you to get messaging to the players. And we had a couple of things late in the game last week. It's good to be down there when you know, Port were kept coming at us with some goals and we were, I was able to talk to the players about what strategy or structure we wanted to go to and how, how we just need to just compose ourselves and make sure we finish the game off really strongly. So, um, yeah, I'll continue to explore it. Chris Fagan this morning in Brisbane said that Charlie Cameron's been very, very helpful this week in giving a bit of uh, intel yep. into what you know, they can sort of expect from you guys. I think there's really much there given your game style's changed so much since 2017. Oh, well, yeah, there's a lot of things that are still similar. And most sides, you know, we'd ask the guys who've come across from other clubs and to give us an insight. And most sides have got a fairly good feel on exactly how an opposition is going to play. So there's not that many surprises. Um, but, you know, maybe give him some insight into some individuals that he's he's played with and, you know, some of their sort of nuances, if you like. But, uh, you know, competitive advantage in that space is, I would have thought, pretty small. And that sort of uh, challenge of controlling Charlie being in great form, playing a little bit yeah. high up the ground last week as well. How do you sort of approach that? Back well, they've got, they've got, you know, look at their forwards, they've got some, some dangerous tools, whether it be Hipwood, you know, McInerney's been taking clunks down, McStay's in, you know, is can market as well, and then on the small side they've got Rayner, uh, Charlie Cameron, uh, Mitch Robinson down there, they put Zorko forward, so they've got a good blend and mix of guys in both, so yeah, it's a good 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 challenge, our, our back seven's been in really good form, um, another challenge for them on Saturday.